The Queen and the royal family have been and are dedicated to their faith, as we were just talking about before. They attend special Christmas services at Sandringham mm. every year. Yeah, we see the pictures <laughs> every year. And as churchgoers headed to Mass in the United Kingdom, the Queen was remembered in services right across the country. She is the only monarch most of us have ever known. And today, at Liverpool Parish Church, the late Queen was mourned by some like a member of family. This was a special requiem service, a chance to remember an extraordinary life. We give you thanks for her love of family and her gift of friendship, for her devotion to this nation and the nations of the Commonwealth. The Queen's passing brings global cultural change and a new national anthem with unfamiliar words. Arthur Speed, who's 77, remembers the previous king, but the late Queen became his constant. She was a one-off, wasn't she? What a lovely, lovely lady. Lovely. And when I was at sea, Every Friday, 7 o'clock, we used to toast the Queen. But we've got to look forward to King Charles. Hopefully he'll do as good as his mum. I'm sure he will. Church services like this one held here today and those indeed across the country and the Commonwealth have given people a chance to pay tribute to the late Queen. But in many ways, they also reflect the way in which Queen Elizabeth II lived her own life. At her coronation 70 years ago, the Queen pledged to lead the Church of England. But the public pageantry was matched by personal faith. Seen in times of celebration like Christmas Day trips to church, or more recently at the funeral of her late husband. Her role as defender of the faith will be remembered. Her late majesty taught us much, if not more, about God and grace, both in words and the actions that reinforce them, than any other contemporary figure. The Queen once said her faith guided her through good times and bad. It feels then particularly poignant that places of worship like Litchfield Cathedral in Staffordshire have become such focal points during this time of national mourning. She was just like the nation's grandma, weren't she? <laughs> she just, everyone just loved her. There was nothing not to love about her, really. She's really important for everyone and a lot of people looked up to her and thought she was amazing, really, and I did as well. It's a sense many share, a feeling many will miss. Katrina Vitozzi, Sky News.